Hey viewers, this is a 1v1. I'm playing as a Terran against a Zerg player. What I'm going to do here is a Reaper, two, Ban two Hellions, then two Banshees with Cloak, then two Siege Tanks slash Mass Marines. I find that's a very good build against a Zerg player. So this is going to be commentary to the whole video, so here it goes. First thing, get your SUVs working right away. I do the split SUV thing, so you select all, select them to one. Then quickly grab three and send them to another one. You need a really quick mouse and hands to do it though. SCV ready. After you do that, make sure you train an SCV right away. Quick as possible. So, when, once you reach the population of 9, you want to build a supply depot. And once you start that supply depot, build an SUV right away. And then once you get another 50 minerals, build another one. This is because right when that supply depot is finished, you'll be, you, your SUV would just be finishing so you can build another one right away. So you're always building an SUV. Once that supply depot is finished, make sure you go scout, figure out where they are, and you can look for a rush. And then after, also when that supply depot is finished, you want to get a barracks building right away. Ready. If you are playing in a 1v1 and it's like those where there's four bases, just because he's not in one, just keep on looking until you find him. Also, while that barracks is being built, and you have enough money, build a extractor so you can start getting gas. Also, you want to finish up your wall whenever you can do that. Once you find them, the things that you want to look for are, are things like, obviously, the spawning pool when you're playing a desert player. I did find it, so I don't think he's... When I saw that, I didn't think he was gonna go doing a reserving rush because he had the ex his extractor out there. So he's going straight to gas. So therefore, you'd think that he's not going to do a ling rush. Anyways, I kind of messed up my placement on the barracks, but oh well. Make sure that happens. Just finish up your wall. It's really not a big deal. Once that barracks is finished and you got the tech lab going, Complete. get the second extractor up and keep on making SUVs. Right when that tech lab is finished, start making those ghosts right away. Now, the funny thing is about this game, I wasn't really planning on putting it on YouTube. But the ending is kind of funny because you rage quit at the end, so I decided to put it on. Ready. So get the second barracks building and get your factory building both at the same time. And there's a trick to this that I'm about to show you with the barracks and the factory. Keep on training ghosts. You only want three. The reason why you want three, you can have more, but you don't want any less than three. So when you have three reapers, they do enough damage to kill a worker in one shot. They also have enough attack points to kill a marine in one shot. So that's why you want three. Right when your barracks finish, get a reactor. And then once that factory is finished, build a Hellion. I was a little late on that, I just completely forgot. But it's really no big deal. Also, I can't tell you how important this is. Hotkeys. 
Hockeys make it so much faster to build things. So useful. So once you have those three rookers, you're gonna go do your little harass. So you wanna go to their main base, somewhere where you can jump really close to their minerals and where I am going. So here's the switch. You lift up your barracks and then you place your factory there. So that reactor is already there. You don't have to wait for another one to be built. Saves a lot of time. So with your Reaper Harass, you want to go straight to the workers, like I did here. Destroy as many workers as you can. When you see that queen coming, just pull back, go back in, and kind of hide. Run away a little bit. Reapers are faster than the queen, so you can easily run and hide. Here, run back over, so now you can kill a few more before they come back and attack you again. Now once you start, they actually start countering, go check, use it as like a, a scout. So I did that, now I saw their expansion, so now I know that they expanded. Once that factory has landed on the reactor, start building more Hellions. With that second barracks, you're going to build another reactor. And from the first barracks, make Marines. Once that is finished, you want that starport to be up, start building that starport. Additional supply required. Also make sure you never hear that noise, the extra supply depots must be built. You don't want everyone to hear that. Always make sure you're building supply depots so you are never maxed out until you are at 200, obviously. I keep on building those Hellions until you get 6, but this build you get 7, so it's 1 extra. Once that starport is finished, lift up that barracks at the gate, fly your starport over there, land it, and bring that barracks to a different place, and you're going to build a reactor on it. Right when that lands, you want to get cloak, and then you're going to start building two banshees, that's all you need, just going to be two. So now you just want to keep on making marines. You have once you have the number of Hellions that you want, you start attacking with the Hellions. I accidentally somehow misclicked my marines there. I don't know what happened. I looked up my factory again and I placed my first barracks onto that reactor so I can make more marines. So with those Hellions, you're gonna go straight to their second base. But with those barracks, always make sure you're building marines. So I went straight to their second base, but right when I got there, heavily guarded. My Hellions just died so fast, so I tried to run to the first base to destroy them. But they were just on top of it, so the Hellions did not really work this game. It was pretty much useless. But in the end, it all works out. The reason why I did the Banshees is because they don't really see it coming I find, so they if they have no anti-air, it's golden. So with that factory you're going to build a tech lab, and then you're going to start building siege tanks. After you get those two Banshees, you're going to start building Medivex, obviously so they can heal your... He tried doing a chain channeling, I don't really know what they're called, but I caught it, so it wasn't really a big deal. Again, always make sure you are building marines. The good thing about Terran, you don't really have to expand early game, so that's a huge bonus and an extra 400 minerals you have. So I made sure I cloaked there, because I didn't want that overlord to see me, which I'm not too sure if he did or not. So, fly up to behind their base and attack their drones. He unfortunately had a spore crawler so that did not work at all. So I attacked his gas drones. They ended up running away. So I tried to destroy his queens. But then my banshees ran out of energy unfortunately. Almost lost one. At this time. So now I tried to sneak around to his first one. 
One is only cloaked, which isn't really good. I had no energy to re-cloak him. So I just decloaked, hopefully to save up energy. So with those siege tanks, wherever that tech lab is built, you want to make sure you get that siege siege tank upgrade so you can actually put them in siege mode. I ended up losing both my banshees. Also, it was not very effective. But again, in the end, it all works out for me. So, with that third barracks, another reactor is useful. So with those siege tanks, you want to put them up against that wall like I did so that they can attack. So they can attack oncoming waves that are coming up here. The siege tanks can destroy them also before they even reach your wall. It's very good. Additional supply depots required. So around this point of the game, you actually want to expand. I usually like building the, the command center in your base so that it doesn't get destroyed or spotted. And again, always make sure you have enough supply depots. Continuous, continuously build siege tanks. The more you have is obviously the better. And again, keep on placing them along that wall there so that they can attack the oncoming wave before it even reaches your base. Out here, I ended up building an extra banshee, so I just put it as like a scout, so I know when they are coming to attack. You don't have to do it, but it's kind of helpful, so you know when they're coming for you. I know I always like un or lowering my supply depot. I don't know why, I just like it better. So there they are. They're attacking my banshee. So they're about to attack. And if you look at my army, it does not look very big. It looks like that he's actually going to be able to take me out. But he doesn't actually attack right away, which I don't know why. So I ended up being able to get a few more marines. Load up that one SCV that you had. And the reason why I like this four base map is because you can expand to other bases. And they don't really know that you're doing that. So that's what I end up doing. He had a ling out there. Spot me, so I just grabbed four marines to go take care of it. The reason why I hate lowering or having a wall with Terran is you always gotta lower your wall. Really annoying, I find. This better be good. So take out a ling if they're doing. If you have a ling there, make sure you take it out. So here I did another switch because I want to get stem pack, and I also could make more hellions, which are good against lings. So expand a little farther from your base so they don't see the expansion. I brought the four marines over there just in case he has another lane that I gave it to destroy. So here they're about to attack. You will see that my siege tanks damaged every single one of his... Every single one of them is pretty much hurt. Before they even got to destroy... They only got to destroy one supply depot and they were done. And what you're gonna about to see here is him rage quit at me and just freak out and leave. Just give it a second. I'm just about to do a counter. Watch what he writes here, it's kinda of funny, I found. And then he quits. Very good game. So try this build out. Only do it against Zerg. I don't really find it too effective against Protoss. So if you're playing as Terran in a 1v1 and you come across a Zerg player, try this build out. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.